There were also protests in Toronto and Montreal following the deadly hospital blast. And let's bring in Hillary Johnstone from Ottawa to tell us what happened, Hillary, in Toronto, first of all. Heather, there were a number of protests in Toronto yesterday. I want to start with one that we saw at the University of Toronto. This took place on the steps of Sydney Smith Hall. Uh, a number of people, dozens of people were there. There were pro-Israel uh, demonstrators there and pro-Palestinian as well. Now, at times, the pro-Palestinian crowd drowned out those who were there uh, in support of Israel. There were special constables on the scene to keep the groups apart. But I want to play a little bit now of what we heard uh, from one of those demonstrators that was there in support of Israel. This rally that we've organized today, it's not pro-Israeli government, it's not anti-Palestine, that's not the idea at all. It's simply us standing in solidarity with the lives lost terrorism. And I'm surprised that that's a controversial issue. We're just saying, you know, we're here to stand in solidarity with people who have been massacred, people who have been, you know, innocent lives that have been lost, right? That's the main idea. Now, in a statement to CBC News, the University of Toronto said that there was no place for anti-Semitism, Islamophobia, racism or hate of any sort on campus and that it was working with its campus police to protect communities and to protect the campus. There was also a large demonstration in Mississauga. And then there was also one in the downtown area of Toronto at Young and Bloor, more than a thousand people at that one. These were some of the images uh, from there last night. Police did say that at least one person was arrested, did not say whether or not that person was charged, but want to bring you a little bit of what we heard from someone uh, on the pro-Palestinian side of that protest. We have thousands of people here today of Palestinians, Arabs um, and allies who are here to stand in solidarity with the, pal with the people of Gaza um, and to stand in unequivocal support of um, the breaking of the siege of Gaza, of allowing humanita humanitarian aid to enter, enter into Gaza and for a ceasefire and for asking for the Canadian government to end its complicity um, again with the genocides that are occurring to the Palestinian people and have been occurring um, to the Palestinian people for the last 75 years. So just a little bit there, Heather, of what we heard uh, at a couple of those different protests or demonstrations yesterday in Toronto. And what about in downtown Montreal? Another gathering, I understand, Hillary, outside the U.S. consulate in that city too. That's right. More than a thousand people starting at the U.S. consulate, making their way to the Israeli consulate. Uh, again, a police presence, keeping an eye on everything. Uh, and what we heard, what our CBC News colleagues heard from some on the ground uh, in that city was this call, sort of similar to what you heard in that last clip that we just played there from Toronto, calling on both Prime Minister Justin Trudeau and also U.S. President Joe Biden, who of course is in the region today, uh, to denounce what has been happening in Gaza in particular. So uh, that was sort of was, was in keeping with what we heard from other protesters who were at that site, not just in Montreal, but also in Toronto yesterday, Heather. Hillary Johnstone from Ottawa, thank you very much. Thank you.